When working with the Mongo database, you can either use the regular Mongo shell or the Mongosh shell. Now, Mongosh is actually going to be taking over or superseding Mongo, so it's the recommended use. We'll show you how to use Mongo and Mongosh in this course. You still need the Mongo daemon running and you need MongoDB, but you can just use a different shell, either Mongo or Mongosh. Before we jump into this video, go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited membership and get access to all of the courses we've ever created. That's over 2,000 hours of content. So Mongo is the default, but you can install the Mongosh package as well. So for that on Mac, you can use Homebrew with Brew Install Mongosh. Hit enter and that is going to install the Mongosh shell here. Mongosh is short for Mongo shell and it's a new and improved version of the Mongo shell. You can also install Mongosh via a zip file if you prefer. Okay, and if you're already installed, you'll see Mongosh is already installed or you'll see that it has been successfully installed. If you get an error, then search up your error. Okay, so then you can put use Mongosh just by calling it by its name here. And if you want this to be able to run, you have to have your Mongo daemon running at the same time. So in a different terminal, just launch the Mongo daemon. Either you have an alias MongoD or if you don't have the alias, just use the full command for starting a Mongo daemon on Mac. And on Mac, that is going to implement sudo. So to start a Mongo daemon on Mac, you use sudo mongod dash dash db path slash system slash volumes slash data slash data slash db. Enter in your passcode for your computer and that will launch the Mongo daemon. Then in a new terminal you can use Mongosh, hit enter and you'll be able to put it to use. There you go. So now we're inside of the Mongosh shell. All right and we're able to now use it because we are running our Mongo daemon. So you have to keep the Mongo daemon running while you're accessing a Mongo shell, whether that is via the regular Mongo shell or the Mongosh new and improved shell. So here you could use some database just like this. So that is how to install Mongosh on Mac. Coming up next, we'll talk about how to install Mongosh on Windows. Thanks for watching and don't forget to go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited membership where you can get access to over 350 courses that we've created.